everyone, it is Thursday, May 7th, and we are going to rock our day today by starting and saying the pledge and then heading right into a review poem today about our flag. So let's stand and say the pledge and then we'll do crossover work for our flag. Here we go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, here is our poem, our flag. So everybody get ready with those crossovers, arms up, lift up and touch your knee, and our flag. Our flag is red, white, and blue, red, white, and blue, red, white, and blue. Our flag is red, white, and blue in the USA. All right, freeze. Now let's do balance on one leg, and then we'll do balance on the other leg for the final verse. How many stars does our flag have, everyone? Here we go. <laughs> our flag has 50 stars, 50 stars, 50 stars. Our flag has 50 stars in the USA. All right, we're going to do our last verse, switch legs. And it has how many stripes? 13. Here we go. Our flag has 13 stripes, 13 stripes, 13 stripes. Our flag has 13 stripes in the USA. So, a great way to start our day, celebrating the flag and celebrating all of the amazing readers that you are. Fun to take a peek, see what we were working on way back in November. Those snap words, is, and, the, and of course, all of our number words and color words. And I remember back, that's when we used our Q-tip paint brushes to paint American flags. We were studying all about the different symbols of America, like the bald eagle, our national bird, where presidents live, the White House, what Mount Rushmore is all about, and lots of you had visited that um, monument, and the lady that stands in the harbor in New York called the Statue of Liberty with her torch. Those were all very important symbols of the U.S., and I hope you'll have a chance to see them all someday. They're all very cool. Of course, we know we've got the flag, the most important symbol of all that we can see everywhere. All right. Well, we are going to do a little bit of work in our handwriting workbooks. And if you are doing your handwriting with us, you can grab that out. If you're saving it till another time, that's fine. Well, today, boys and girls, we've got that big uppercase G and little lowercase G. And what do we see right there? Magic C Bunny. Are you ready to rock with Magic C? Here we go. This beat's gonna wake you up. Remember this one? Start. I'm a magic sea bunny and I'm here to say It's fun to make letters the magic sea way Make a magic sea and I'll show you how Start at the top, curve this way now Stop at the bottom, Let's go down and make lowercase magic sea Looks good to me, looks good to me This is over, go grab a marker, it might show up a little better Being friends with the code, it can seem pretty funny But really what I do is make learning feel sunny Listen to me and just follow along And if you want to see Make I'll those magic, magic C's. Magic C, C for A, D, and G, and magic C. C for A, D, and G, and magic C. C for A, D, and G. And, and before you were done, do O, A, Q. All right. A, D, and G, and magic C. C for A, D, and G. 
I know that's a kindergarten favorite song. Check your word wall. We had go, get, and got are all our snap words that you can go ahead and write. No kindergarten names today. Maybe you have somebody in your family that you can write their names or just write those three, it's fine. Move on and do H and I today. And quality work, hold that finger or pencil correctly with your fingers and use your helper hand. Do a great job, kindergarten, and keep singing that magic sea bunny song. All right, now we've got another review poem for today, but before we get to that, we're going to talk about one last page in our Super Reader Response Journal. So, one of the other pages that you can do when you listen to a story is called The Story and Me. So, you write your name. It's just kind of a little line for the title. You might have to squeeze it in or just write a couple key words. Then it says, what was the favorite character you had from that story? So you'll wanna draw a picture of your favorite character. And then there's a new box here that says, something I learned from the story. Now remember, every time we read a book or listen to a story, we always wanna be thinking about how is the character feeling? How can it relate to my life? What lessons, what things did I learn? Now you might think, well, I didn't learn anything. Think hard. Maybe something you learned is how to use a new word. Maybe something you learned is that on a page you've never noticed a detail before. Maybe you learned a lesson. There's lots of things you can always learn. And then of course the bottom is to write your favorite part of the story. Okay, and you know we've been spending some time reading special stories about moms and grandmas and aunts and special people in our lives. So maybe that will trigger some things for you. Um, the stories I have today are about moms again. So that is the three different pages that you have for doing this work. So you do it three out of the five days and there's extra ones in the back so you could even do them in the summer if you want. So quality work and have fun with that. And of course, spend time reading. I hope you can be getting outside. I hope you can snuggle up with a great book under a tree or snuggle up with a great book in a little fort you've maybe made outside. So have fun with your reading. And let's talk about our next poem that is all about our, I'm going to take this one off, friend the turkey. And we made some fabulous turkeys in kindergarten that we took home. We were working on our shapes and we made different shapes on our leaves. So let's read about our turkey. And let's stand back up and do those crossovers again because that's a great way to practice our rhythm and our reading together. So, a turkey is, a turkey is a funny bird. Its head goes wobble, wobble. And all it knows is just one word. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Make sure your pointer power is working hard. There's a few tricky words in there that we want to maybe move on from. So, all right. Fun to see all these poems again. And you have them all in your poem binder so you can keep practicing and practicing. Today, your math job is to play the game I taught you yesterday called Make the Difference, or Keep the Difference, I'm sorry. So find some time to play that game with someone in your family. And then we have our little math journal where we're going to do the next two pages. It says today you need to find however many little circles are at the bottom, and it's calling them marshmallows. If you don't have marshmallows, no big deal. Take out those beans I sent home with you and count out how many beans there are that match this, put one on each circle. 
and then it says to divide them into two equal parts. So you need to put one here, one there, one here, one there, and when you get all done, you should have the same on both sides, and you can write down that number after you move your beans away. So do some math work on that one, and the next page is to draw a picture to match this number story. It says five plus four equals nine. So what they want you to do is draw five of something. Let's draw five pennies. And I'll put a P in them so I know they're pennies. Five plant pennies plus four pennies equals nine pennies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. My number story worked. All right, and our last job in math today is counting by tens. And we're going to do our count by tens today with a hop. So everybody hop up and let's count by tens to 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Way to go, kindergarten. All right. Now let's take a peek at our last work today. Shh. This is kind of a secret, but you might not be able to keep it a secret because you're at home and we can't keep the secret here at school. You have this little booklet about special moms or grandmas in your life. So I want you to work really hard today writing my mom by your name right there and then color this cute little bear and the birds. And then on the very first page today, it says, my mom is, and there's three boxes. These are words that describe your mom. Maybe your mom is funny. Use your stretching power. Whoop, I don't know where my little stretcher is. Oh, here it is. Where's funny? Funny. Maybe your mom is pretty. Stretch it out and write it. Maybe your mom is tall. Maybe your mom is nice. Maybe your mom is sweet. Maybe your mom is a good cook. Maybe your mom, whatever. You get to write three words today that describe your mom. So that's your writing work. Do the cover and write three words. Awesome quality work. This is a surprise. All right, get outside and play. If it's raining, find something to do that's not in the rain. All right, have a great day and keep rocking it, kindergarten.